Hello internet dwellers, I'm Oki, and if you clicked on this video, more than likely you are curious about the new Jiwan film, Owari no Hachimari, which translates to the beginning of the end. Now the title sort of implies that it's a prequel, and some people have even dubbed it Jiwan 3, but it's neither a sequel and it's not a prequel. This film is definitely a remake. This film follows a school teacher named Yui who coincidentally has to teach the class that Toshio Saiki, the infamous Toshio Saiki, um, is enrolled in. Now our little Toshio has been ditching school for some reason for a number of days and the teacher becomes curious as to why. So she calls the house a number of times and there's no response so finally she decides to go to the Saiki house and find out what the hell's going on. The Saiki house in this film is actually different from the house they've used in the previous films. It's a completely new house and it's super modern and, I mean, I would live in it, honestly. Ghosts or no ghosts. Now when she gets to the house, she meets Kayako. And I'm not going to be specific on how because I don't want to spoil it. Basically, of course, like any Juan film, things get kind of weird and the character runs out of the house. Now from that point, we start switching points of view, just like the other Juan films. Um, and they're mostly out of order. But we have her story, we have a story with three, actually it's four, schoolgirls. We have a side story with the teacher's boyfriend and the Saikis themselves. Now this version of the story is a lot more fast-paced and I have to say it's a much louder horror film than the previous ones. I say louder because where the other films were more quiet and atmospheric, this one's more like bang. And I know that might turn some people off, but I actually think it worked well, especially considering that this story has been told like a thousand times. Some of the scare scenes from this film were recycled from the previous films, which is I guess normal considering it's a remake. You have to kind of put those iconic scenes to please the fans. Um, but some of the material was new and I thought was pretty effective. This is actually the first Juwan film that revolves around the Saiki family that's not directed by Takashi Shimizu. This new movie was directed by Masayuki Ochiai. I think that's how you say it. Ochiai Masayuki. Yeah. Now, if you're a fan of Japanese horror, you've seen some of Masayuki-san's films. He did Infection, he did Parasite Eve, and he also did Hypnosis. Oh, and he also did the Shudder remake, but that wasn't that great. But he's not the only newbie to the series. The actors that play Toshio and Kayako are actually new as well. Now I'm gonna be honest, the new actress playing Kayako doesn't quite have the movements down like the original actress Takako Fuji, but she's actually not the central antagonist and the story focuses more on Toshio. Now the one thing that I was super curious to see was the ending. Of course, every Juwan film has the infamous crawling down the stairs scene. My dog's barking, Toshio's probably in the house. So that scene is included towards the end of the film, but they did do something different to it. Sort of a twist on the original. And at first I didn't know if I liked it very much, but give, giving it further thought, it actually was pretty clever and I don't want to spoil it just so you guys can see it for yourselves. So even though it's a remake, it did come off kind of refreshing. I guess it was just the change of setting, the change of actors. It was interesting to see a new perspective, a new, or a reimagining, I guess. And overall, I think I liked this version better than the Sarah Michelle Gellar version, even though I love Sarah Michelle Gellar, because Buffy is the best show in the history of human events. And I think if you're a fan of the franchise anyway, you're gonna enjoy this one just as much as I did. And even if you don't, the originals still exist. The only thing that I thought was kind of weak in this film was the flashback scene. There's always a flashback scene that shows you how the house got cursed. I don't think the one in this movie was really executed that great, but I guess it's sort of unfair to compare it to the really stylized flashback from the American remake. Oh, and one thing that they didn't include was the use of hair. My dad has always hated the fact that they used so much hair in the previous films. He just doesn't think hair is scary. I guess it's not scary, unless it's my hair when I wake up in the morning. Now that's really scary. And actually, I think this film will be extra effective to those who have never seen a Juan film. So yes, I definitely think that this film was worth watching. There are no English subtitles right now. Um, I actually watched it with Korean subtitles, which I can't read. But I'm hoping someone makes some English subs soon and fingers crossed for an international DVD release. I'm not really a YouTuber, but I do have another channel. This one's new. 
I do want to keep doing reviews, but there's actually a project that I'm working on with some friends for this channel. And if you really love horror films, please subscribe and stay tuned. Thanks for watching and stay scared.